Hey guys, Ramit Sethi here from Growth Lab. Today I wanna to talk about the psychology of growing your business as you move from $1,000 to $5,000 a month to $20,000 a month or even more. So I got this question from John D. John asks, what's the mindset shift from I'm starting and I wanna make $1,000 to I'm making four figures a month and I wanna take it to five figures a month? So I love this question. This is why we started a site called Growth Lab, because we want you to grow in every part of life, your business, your psychology, how you are serving your customers. And I'll tell you a little bit about my experience in growing from zero, I was basically making no money online, to making $1,000 a month and 10,000, and eventually generating $5 million in one week. So when I started off, I had this blog, it was not a business, it was just my personal blog. I'm sitting there, I'm so cool, I'm talking about personal finance, don't you guys love me? And I didn't make a cent, I didn't monetize it at all. And at the time, all of my friends had graduated from Stanford and a lot of them were going to work at Google and they were working for AdSense. So they're like, dude, Ramit, you have this blog, you have some traffic, why don't you slap up some ads and make some money, it can't hurt. I said, it actually can hurt because I'll, I know myself and I will end up spending all this time optimizing colors and all this weird stuff. I just wanna focus on writing. And then they said, well, what's it gonna take for you to put AdSense on? And you know what I told them? Back then, I was such a, oh, I'm so cool. You know what, I'm not even gonna think about ads until I can at least cover my rent. Like, I thought I was being so cool, as if rent was like out of this universe. It'll never happen. My rent was like 600 bucks a month back then, okay? I lived in a shared house in a bedroom. But it was such a big and lofty goal that I almost used it as my ceiling. It's like if you're starting off right now, you might think it's crazy to imagine making $5,000 a month. But if you're good and you follow what we teach in our programs, you're gonna make $5,000 a month. And then you might have to readjust that ceiling and think about 10 or even $25,000 a month or more. So. The next thing I did was I created a $4.95 ebook. You may have read about me selling this for the first time. I did not give a shit about how much money I made. That's why I charged less than $5. So I made about five or $10,000 total. The money made zero difference in my life, okay? It did not change my life. Nothing changed when it came to the money. But it turned on a light bulb in my head. It made me step back and say, wait a minute. Everybody says no one pays for content online, but there are over a thousand people who bought this $5 ebook. If they'll pay $5, maybe they'll pay 10. Maybe they'll pay a hundred. That was my sale, a hundred dollars. I can't believe it, but they did. So the next major product I launched was Earn 1K. Years later, $497. This was crazy. Okay, who's gonna pay that? Nobody pays for it. Information wants to be free. Well, we generated over $600,000 in one week. Now here's the funny thing, looking back, what other industry can you be in where basically me and a tiny team generates $600,000 in one week? It's crazy, but I didn't sit around like Scrooge McDuck and just count dollar bills, oh, I'm rich. It never even occurred to me. You know what I did do? I said, they paid $5, now they paid $500. I wonder how I can move up the value chain. So it was more of an intellectual puzzle to me. And I went from there and I decided to make the product better. And you can see that. We spent the next year improving Earn 1K. We raised the price and we moved up the value chain and people paid us even more. That's when I started to get really interested. Not just, wow, I made $600,000 for this business, but now I actually have the resources to go and hire someone to make this site actually professionally designed. Now I can actually pay some of the world's best engineers, designers, product specialists. Wow, now I have the resources to not have to try to do everything myself. And that's when I entered a whole new challenge, moving up the value chain. Hiring, management, building a team and being a leader. So in all of this, I hope you guys will see that there's this misunderstanding that, oh, you make you know, $100,000 or a million dollars, whatever the number is, and you just sit around and just count your money and just say out the window, I'm rich. That's not true. The most successful entrepreneurs I know are not sitting around counting their money and talking about how rich they are. Never, not in a million years. You know what they are talking about? 
Wow, I learned how to create this really complex concept and distill it down so that my students were able to create their own business or find their own dream job, right? Or unpack their own invisible scripts. And when you do that with the power of an amazing business model, that's when your profitable business will grow. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I want you to know what it's actually like behind the scenes as you grow your business. Not just, you know, what new technology do you need, but what is it like when you start to earn revenue that you never thought possible? What changes in your business? What changes in your hiring? What changes psychologically inside? I'm gonna keep talking about this because a lot of other people are not. So if you have questions about the psychology of growth, what it takes to get to the next level, or even what to look out for, send me a note. Send me a video question. I'm gonna keep recording videos for you guys. I'm gonna keep posting on growthlab.com and I want you to do me a favor and share this with your friends so that they know what is possible with their business.